Welcome to the online video that pairs with the technique department in each month's magazine. I'm Talmadge McLaurin, publisher of Florist Review. For the upcoming wedding and prom season, corsages are going to be a main fare of most shops across the country. So I want to show you my favorite way of doing a corsage that fits on the wrist. There are several different ways that you can approach a wrist corsage. You can make it where it ties on with a ribbon or there's all kinds of prefabricated uh, wrist corsage wristlets that you can put it on. One thing that I especially like to use is the decorative wire that's from Oasis Floral Products. Here we have it in a great purple color, and it, but it comes in all different colors. And I'm going to cut off a piece and then I'm going to, first off, I'm going to create the band that goes around the wrist. So all I'm going to do is just double this back, make sure it's long enough, and just create a kind of an oval, and then I will cut it off. So it makes a perfect little band that can bend around the wrist. Now I'm going to scrunch it in a little bit, so it forms a shape like this, kind of like a Q-tip. Then I'll take another piece of the wire and I'm going to start at one end just after the loop and I'm going to wrap it tightly around all the way to the other loop. Now that there's a wire coiled up and down the length of the bracelet, this will allow me to hide my mechanics. Now I need to just trim off the ends of the wire and be sure that all of the trimming of wire goes up so that when it's placed on the wrist, you won't have a wire that's facing the wrist and will be uncomfortable. So I'm going to trim this end and the other end and the wire is facing up. The next step is to create a form that the flowers are going to glue to. And I'm taking this regular corsage sized ribbon and I'm going to create several multi-loop bows and um, really make them full of loops because you want a lot of surface area so that you can glue the flowers to the ribbon. I've also created a couple of end pieces that are just three loops and a tail that will go on each side of the corsage. The first ribbon to add is the loops at each end. I just place it on the end of the coil, hold it tightly, wrapping the wire around the coil, and then twisting it and trimming it on the top. Now I begin adding the bows in the same method. One on each end, the smaller ones. We're ready to glue on fresh flowers. If you'll notice on the underneath side, between the coils, the small wires that are holding the ribbons together are completely lost down inside the coil. So it's a great way of making the back side look as good as the front. Now we're going to add fresh flowers. And instead of wiring and taping them on, I'm going to use floral adhesive. And it's by Oasis as well. Some people like to pour this into a little plastic container and dip the flowers in but I've had success with just putting a little drop on the ends of the stems. Position it into the corsage and hold it for just a couple of seconds. You can squeeze the ribbons in around it and in a few seconds it will set right up. By putting glue at the ends of the stems of each of the blossoms, it also stops them from dehydrating and that will make the croissage last a lot longer in the same way wiring and taping it would. I like to leave the croissage flat until all the flowers are attached and the glue is set up, but there's one thing that you need to remember. You need to pack flowers in pretty tightly because when you wrap the croissage around the wrist, the flowers are going to spread out. With the upcoming spring wedding season, a book like Wedding Flowers from Florist Review is perfect. You can buy this book by going to the bookstore right here on this website. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.